<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. So I may or may not show, Eddie and I ventured back to Good Springs. Uh, we went to Novak, sold a bunch of stuff that we don't use. Like, I don't use the flamer in this playthrough, stuff like that. Sold that. At least I hope I sold it. Let's double check. I did. Got some stim packs. For whatever reason, I was using them in that fight yonder. And they weren't really healing me, so... Yeah, don't know what that was about. Went to the dock in Novak. Healed up properly. And now we're heading to the last location to find HVAC parts. So we can... Become HVAC technicians for the Brotherhood of Steel. Why is that a quest line in a Fallout game? Who knows? Who cares? We're gonna go help out our friends the Brotherhood of Steel. You know, Paladin Dance is good for us until I shot him in the back of the head. Elder Maxim Magazine. You know, he was dating Nick. I gotta hook them up. So. Really? Like... Really? I, I I just don't have any words. Like, every episode. Like, we just... Then we have mailboxes blowing up. Eddie! We've been hanging out with Spartan85 too much. Card up in the corner if you want to go check him out. Even though I guarantee almost all of you are already subscribed to him. Does this one do it? Oh, wait. There's a magazine. Cool. Ah. One of these days, I'm going to have a full episode where I... Don't blow myself up somehow. What? Eddie, we're gonna head over there. We'll meet everyone else there. Enjoy the fast travel. Maybe I'll put in a warp this time. Warp? I don't want to set the world on fire. Okay, bugs. I don't like bugs. <gasps> Stay out. Plants kill, that's right. Okay. Oh jeez. The frig. That's right. I remember. I actually don't. I just remember that there's something goofy about this joint. This gun, I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't do well against bugs. I say that as I blast one in the face, but... Eddie! Harder! Right. Hmm... Maybe a shotgun? Whoa! Mine Vault 22, one of one. I'm thinking a shotgun. We'll go with a shotgun. Oh. <laughs> Can't walk forward. Alright, Eddie. Switch to a shotgun. <laughs> I kept the lever action, by the way. So we are only here for... Ooh, duffel bag. Atomic cocktail. Sure. There's food here. What's over here? I'm going to get lost looting again, aren't I? I really got to stop that. Turn on my light this time. Uh, wait. Why are both things on my compass saying go this way? Huh. Eddie, we're gonna get lost, dude. I, I feel we are gonna get super lost. We're gonna be, like, recording for, like, three hours and finally leave the vault. Forget what I said in the beginning. All right, compass is saying this way. Yep. Oxygen recycling. Which compass marker do I follow? Uh, this one? Yeah, because that one's saying go up. Come on, Eddie. We're going to go straight to the point on this one. I don't know why I'm being so cautious coming in here. I can handle anything that comes at me. I can just have it in my mind that I am sick of falling for traps.
Can we shoot through here, Eddie? Or are you just, like, stirring up stuff? Terminal. Okay. So how do we get in there, buddy? I'm sure I could have just read whatever the heck. Well, let's just read what's up here. Which is that memory has been corrupted. Eddie. We're so close. Well, that sucks. Is there any other way over there? Yep, that's going to be one of those episodes. I'm going to aimlessly wander around until I find it. Stairs, elevator, sure. So, that being said, hopefully I'll meet you guys when something interesting happens. Food production. Love that load time. I don't have to like cut any load time out of this. Thing, right? Whoa! right in the pooper of a spore carrier. That is gross. That is right. Hey, look at that dude right there. Thinks I don't see him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Eddie! 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 Thank you. Gosh, she's such a good robot. The compass is saying this is a bad area to be. Okay. 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 I heard a door open. Eddie, what are you doing back there, bud? Requires key. Cave access. Ooh, is that where I need to be? Cave access hills. That's where I want to be. What you think, dude? You know how I know there's no bad guys in here? Because if Eddie's in here, he would have fought them already. Not saying Addy's a Addy. Eddie's a bad boy. Oh, she eat it. Common areas. What ah? What ah? Reload. So since it appears I'm going to be rambling for a while. I did want to say thank you very much for the feedback on the cyberpunk what to do video. Overseer's office. Cool. That drops yesterday, which is Sunday. And this will hopefully be out on Tuesday. So thank you for your feedback. I do agree. Cyberpunk. You know what? It was just such a hard series to record. It's an absolute fun game. Do not get me wrong on that. It is... A game I'm still playing and having fun on my own time. But uh, I'm fairly certain I mentioned it in the... Ooh, uh, did I unlock stuff? Unlock? Yeah. Unlock? Yeah. Oh, engage at door site. Cool. The dialogue in the game repeats itself a lot, especially with different characters. You'll go to like one character and they'll say something. You go to a different character, they say the exact same thing. And at the same time, you don't want to cut the cutscenes because a lot of this stuff is important or entertaining-ish. Anything fun in here? I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Carrot. But yeah, it's just, the story was dragging on a bit too much, and I really like to focus on the story of games. And there's a lot of activities to do in that game. A lot of side missions, helping out Delamay and all that fun stuff. Ooh. Activate terminal. Ooh, I, I really don't care about lore. So yeah, I agree. Maybe we'll pick the game back up at some point whenever there's more interest in it or if we find some way to edit it down into something entertaining. Do -do -do -do. Anywho, enough rambling. I want to say thank you for your support on that decision, your input. Again, if it's something we're like, hmm, we can pick back up later, we'll pick it back up later. For now, goodbye, Cyberpunk. We have more projects we can have fun with. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Conductor. Flamer fuel. Oh, I just sold my flamer. That'd probably be very appropriate to kill bugs with. Or whatever the hell these guys are. Plants. Eddie, don't get too close to that, buddy. Laser pistol. Sure. Eddie, I, I really don't want you getting close to this, okay? A little loud. Microfusion so. What are you? Whatever. <laughs> Gamer. There we go. It. The great words of Elton John. Flamer. Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh. I hear something. All right, very short cave door key. This is the cave door key. Hey! Now I just gotta remember how to get back up there. Get out of the way. Words. Dude. Oh. Okay, he's dead. Can you get out of my way now? Stairs. Stairs. Elevator. Let's take the stairs. Trying to remember the cave entrance location because I'm dumb. Cave door terminal thing. Sweet. Disengage. Um, just like that. Just like that. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Who needs raid when you have a flamethrower? Oh, what? Who got him, Eddie? Was that you or me? Either way, he's dead. I did notice the last video that came out, YouTube likes to darken videos, but holy heck, that cave, the anthill, came out super dark. So I, if I remember, I am trying to use the cave to backdoor my way into... I don't think here. Maybe. To backdoor my way into like the recycling room to get the item. It's been years. Anything fun in here? Waiting for something to jump out at me. Oh wait, compass marker. Open locker. <gasps> dun da da da. We did it, Eddie. Now, I don't think there's, like, any dungeon loot in here, though, right? I believe that's a different quest. Oh, yeah. Different quest. You know what, Eddie? That was only a half hour longer than I expected. So, I think we're going to exit. Yeah, let's exit, Eddie. And we can fast travel here. Not that I ever want to. So, Eddie... You playing the trees and greenery, and here we go, of course. Aha. Uh -huh. Eddie, we're getting bigger. So, I believe we are just now off to the Brotherhood of Steel. Probably put this away. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I like that you're playing in the trees and being wild and natural. All right, off to the Brotherhood of Steel. Skip through some dialogue. Get them moving here. Mm. Eddie, I'm trying to take a swig of coffee before we do anything, dude. <laughs> it zooms in on my pecker every time I do that. Cool. And this is the entrance. This is the entrance. Oh, Brotherhood. I got a call about a broken HVAC unit. Steve was here. <laughs> That's so cool. You suck. 
Which way to Lorenzo's house? Lorenzo's house? Lorenzo's house? Which way to Hello? Lorenzo's house? I think it is this way. Alright, so we're gonna quick save. Because we got that enclave transmission thing from Eddie, and everyone's like, let me take a look at your robot. And I'm not well, quite sure I want the Brotherhood to, of Steel to look at Eddie. So, hopefully this dude does not automatically trigger that part of the quest. Lorenzo! You're the one with that robot. Oh, I was hoping you'd go. bring him my way. Pretty impressive piece of hardware. Nope. I can't say that I've seen anything quite like him before. It's not for you. Time for me to go. Later. So, is this not where I bring the HVAC hey. crap, though? Data returns to senior with the components. Yeah. Hey, good to see you again. Have you thought any more about letting me take a look at the logs on your robot? Um. Well, this is a pickle. Well, really? We gotta, we gotta save. What kind of logs? What kind of data does he have on it? He drops big brown logs. Let's talk about something else. Oh, well, if you change your mind, let me know. I have some parts here I can use to upgrade his armor if you leave it with me for a bit. Uh, really? So I can't... Bye. All right, Eddie. I'm going to take a look at this again. Well, Eddie... <laughs> We're in a bit of a pickle here. People want to pick you apart, and all we want to do is repair their AC unit. So, that being said, we're going to put these lovely a-holes on hold, and we're going to work on... Eddie, my love. The Followers of the Apocalypse. I'd like to see what they have to say about your internals there, dude. So, I need a steal here. No? Cool. Sell people only Shut up. Them. So, Brotherhood of Steel. They want to preserve human humanity's, <laughs> humanity's past. And at the same time, they want to bring peace and order the apocalypse. Now, normally I'd be like, yeah, government, keep out. They're not trying to be a government as much as they're just trying to shut up the bad guys, in my opinion. The problem is they want to also control everyone and there's really no free faction. But at the end of the day, what really it comes down to is they're just badass. Now, I need to talk to somebody. April Mortimer. Thank you for coming. Let's talk about that robot. Like you and I have met before, we're just going to casually carry on like this. What would you like it for? I've heard through our channels that it has some research that may be related to Enclave and Poseidon Energy technology. I'd like to get what I can from it and use that data for the good of humanity. All of humanity, unlike the Brotherhood. And what are you going to do with it? First, I'm going to pull off whatever log data I can. Then I'll use some of the tech around here to upgrade its weapon systems. Yes. Shouldn't be more than a few days work. No. Why don't you want the brother to... Ugh, my gosh, it is just one of those stuttering days. Why don't you want the Brotherhood to have it? The Brotherhood is all about keeping technology to themselves and using what they find to protect themselves. In their defense, they're just trying to hold on to the weapons so we don't use it on each other. All right. Uh, is there anything else? You can take it for a little while, even though it's not really like mine to give away. Thank you. He's his own dude. I'll get it back to you as soon as I can with the upgraded weapon systems. You've lost Eddie. The enhanced sensor perk. Oh. Was she there when I... She whoosh. Hey. Do I get to add, like, Nick's old whoosh sound effect? That'd be cool. I miss doing that. I miss doing the, uh, the Nick whooshes. You look pretty cool, Beatrix. So. Check data. Quest. Eddie, my love. Few days. So. Back to still in the dark. I guess I'll have to go be an HVAC technician without Eddie for a minute. That is fine. Eddie's getting his weapons upgrade. That's why I didn't want the Brotherhood of Steel to get their hands on him. Saving. 
Sunstorm. Anybody my age understands. <gasps> Wrong way. How? Wait, what? Oh, uh -huh, right way. Nap, I went to the wrong room. Uh, Lorenzo. Bumper takes a little getting used Lorenzo, to, doesn't it? Look at the compass. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? I did. They're all right here. Really? I mean, that's great. Oh, wow. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. <laughs> He's got loads on his shoulders. Didn't think he swung that way, but to each their own. Uh, return to Elder McDonald's with the news. All right. You're being watched, so don't get any ideas. <laughs> yeah. Who's the one with a bad idea now? Shut your mouth. Elder McDonald's. Hey, buddy. Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? I did. Lorenzo's on it. <sighs> Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. I guess my sisters. Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios. But I left that battle scarred by fear, and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. Uh, I'd rather have stim packs. Ooh. I don't feel any different. That was that? Really? Welcome, outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. With the surface open to us once again, Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios. But I hope to dissuade him. What can I do for you? Uh, what's with the... Do you know what? For now, I don't wish to join the Brotherhood. I think I need to get going. Bye. Ooh, decisions, decisions. Now, I kind of have an idea of what ending I would like to have for this playthrough. But if there's any other suggestions or any other way you guys want to go, I'm not going to give away what exactly I would like to do because it's not 100% yet. I don't think I'm going to join the Brotherhood just yet. But we have a few days until Eddie comes back to us, so... Hey, Vix brother! How you doing, homie? Well, howdy, oh, partner! Vic. Good to see you again! Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. Come back soon now. Now, I don't think he had the name Victor when I first met him, though. On the outside of the Watcha Hooser over there. Really? Alright. Penthouse floor. Ooh, hey, baby. What's your name, girl? Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Are you, uh, his receptionist? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Ooh la la. All right, uh, goodbye. Beep boop boop bop. Yep, got it. Yeah, um, got it. Hey, Vic. I'm Easter House. Check out that view. Such a lovely view. Ah. 
So, I guess since I have time to talk, do you guys want to see more of the uh, side mission stuff in this playthrough? Can I just walk through there? I can. I feel like I would like to do more side quests and hello, sir. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. His nose, I have to nose. ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? I've never seen anything like this place, even though it's a courier and I should have, you know, seen it before. I've never seen any place like of this. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Why the VIP treatment? I'm just a carrier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Let's get down to business, then. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value for Gasp. me. Gasp. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What oh. happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Barter. I should have done more barter. A thousand caps, I accept your terms. Yeah. Well enough. Return to me when you have the Platinum Chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Yeah, that uh, lady upstairs. She uh, available? I'll return when I have the chip. Until then. Interesting. All right, cool. I guess we're now off to do do do, -do, -do. quest. Confront Benny at the Tops Casino. Ooh. So at this point, everyone. I think I might just dick around for a bit until Eddie gets back. And I want your input. Do you want to see more of the side stuff? I don't want to power through this gameplay, the story, too quickly. Hope the boomers around Nellis. Nah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Nah. But yeah, we're going to... I'm going to pick something here, but I want your input. Do you want to kind of drag on this series a little bit more? Now, drag on kind of sounds bad, but like... I don't want to rush through the story. I want to have some fun in this game. I truly love this game. And I'm back. I had to go potty. After going potty, while going potty, I had an idea. Something we can do. Follow me. Hey there, toots. Y'all never guess where I'm going to go. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? Your head mean anything to you? Shut the hell up. Here. Oh, jeez! What? Alright, anyways. I'd like to learn how, how to become Elvis. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Yeah, baby. I'd like to see the king if possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? I'm new in town and wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Language. I can't say much. I slip all the Can time. I help you? Oh. Hi, Rexy Poo. Hey, king. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? I was hoping you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. <laughs> Tell you what. No way. You do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? What do you need me to do? 
I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yeah. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well-earned. Usually well-earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fella named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? I say sure, baby. Okay then. Once you part ways, return here. I look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. But, are you really upset that the guy's good at his job? Like, if he's getting a lot of money out of it, it's probably because he's, you know, a good bodyguard. Next mom. Are one of you guys Otis? Otis. Oh, Oris. Hello, Oris. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. How much for your services? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. Okay, I'll hire you. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Oh crap, brisk pace in this game? How am I still faster than you? Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. The Wrangler, you say? Uh, where's the Wrangler? Hey. Hi. I think that's some fun. Maybe we'll go see the Wrangler. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. You don't say. Hmm. I don't know if I trust you. You're gonna pull the whole make it look like we're in a lot of trouble and you're saving me and give you some bonus caps. Not get ambushed, huh? Come on. <laughs> sure. We uh we good dude? Just like that? Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Uh huh. Hey, you only fired three shots, and there are four guys there. Uh, noticed that, did you? Yeah. I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Or you just fake the whole thing to drum up repeat business. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. After you. Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Okay. I knew it. You guys ain't not if Eddie was here, you guys would have been flipping nothing. Oh, wait a second. That that that's not the ending I was expecting. We went three extra steps and that was the end of the ride. Mr. King, guess what? What do you have for me? This dick? He's a fraud. He faked the attacks on his clients. Then he gets, you know, to be a hero. So that's how it happens. Okay, then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. Oh. You've shown me something. So maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. You got it, buddy. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. 
Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. I'll head over right away. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Yeah. Return when you have some information we can use. You got it, King. There's a poppy, poppy, poppy. I need to talk to you. Hi, Roy. Uh, Roy? What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? What do you mean, how can you help? Answer some questions. What can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Yeah, do you think that that was helpful? You got drunk and went to the wrong side of town. Just remember, do you remember the people? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I've got to get I going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Start with that. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. Oh, are you Wayne? Hi, Wayne. That true? Did the king really send you? Yes, he did. Anything you can help me? Tell me what the hell happened. Hey, wait. I just remembered something. That's what I you thought. You might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant. That's what he called him. Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. Yeah, Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. It looks like it. All right, so Lieutenant. Hello. Hello. We're looking for Mike Hunt. Yep. I mean, Lieutenant. Oh, Elvis wannabe. I got news for you. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? Do you think I'd really walk my ass back in here without information? The local men were attacked by soldiers. One of them was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now... If something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and I chat Jimmy Farkas up. There. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Squatter camps. All right. Well, I think we're going to go blow off some steam. Over at the Wrangler. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Eddie! Hey, buddy. Companion protocol begin. All right, cool. And look at Have you guys. Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You yeah. can see it for miles. Uh, okay. Welcome back, Eddie. How you feeling? Oh, they cleaned you all up. Look at that. Even though I do miss the stickers and whatnot. And you sound kind of staticky. Why do you sound staticky? Regardless, guys, we're going to call it here in front of Bison Steve. This may be a short episode. It may be a long episode. I can't tell because I looked at the clock after the crash and I was like, I don't know how long I've been recording. Yada, yada, yada. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone's support. Everyone hanging out with me today. Next, uh... I'll let you guys decide what happens next. Should we do some side missions or should we 
continue on with the main quest. I think some side stuff would be more fun. You know, in the Fallout 4 series, we didn't do a whole lot of the side stuff. Just got through the storyline. I think we could have some more fun with this game. What do you think, Eddie? Eddie, you don't care where we go as long as we go, right? So, drop a like if you haven't yet. Thank you for your support. Comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. We will see you all in the next one. Won't we, dude? Yeah.